Your best life ever is one step outside of your comfort zone. Your comfort zone is where your dreams go to die. Yo, what's up my fellow creatives? Adrian Boisel here, and I got an important question for you for today's video. Are you a confident creative? Are you really as confident as you can be? If you're not, you're gonna wanna watch this video because today I'm gonna dive deep into this topic and I have some important questions that I wanna ask. And my first question is, what separates somebody like you to somebody like me? And what separates somebody like me to somebody like Tom Bilyeu or Christo or any other thought leaders or world leaders that are making massive impact in the world? That question is gonna get answered in this video and we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into it. A big part of confidence is feeling like you are worthy. And there have been many days throughout my life and especially in the last six months where I have not felt as worthy and my confidence has been at a ultra low. And so what have I done to change that? I've changed my health, I've changed my wealth, and I've changed my relationships. And these are three areas of your life you need to focus on. But there are other areas of my life where I've struggled in my confidence, especially over the last six and seven months that I've been going through some trials in my life that have really tried to steal some of that confidence. To the fact of when I was doing my ice bath, I almost talked myself out of doing an ice bath because one of my friends came in and was talking a bunch of smack and being the comedian, and I triggered myself and gave away my power to that person, allowing them to continue to talk until I was able to gain my confidence by my business partner triggering me back to who I am, to the strength that I have, and to the person that I am that never quits, and I stood in my power and I did an ice bath. And ice baths can be very difficult, they can be even painful, but they are so important for your health and for your confidence. And so this isn't about ice baths, but this is about you leveling up your confidence and not giving your power away to people. So what I want you to do today is I have three questions that I'm gonna ask you that I wanna go over with you. I want you to write them down. And these are three things that I ask myself every day that my mentor asked me and that I want you to ask yourself every single day, 365 days a year. I don't care if you gotta write it down on paper, you gotta put it in your phone, you gotta set it as a reminder, you gotta tell your Google smart devices to remind you of this every day, or if you gotta tattoo it on you, whatever you gotta do for these three things to come up for you every single day, do it, because it's gonna impact your life in a significant way. The first question you need to ask yourself is do I respect myself? That's an interesting question. And how can I do that today? How can you respect yourself? How do you respect yourself? Well, first, that starts off by having a good morning routine. Did you make your bed this morning? Did you work out this morning? Did you feed yourself this morning? Did you drink enough water this morning? Did you take a shower this morning? Did you brush your teeth this morning? Did I brush my teeth this morning? Yeah, I brushed my teeth this morning. You gotta ask yourself these questions. You gotta figure out and actually respect yourself enough to take care of yourself. If you're not loving yourself, you're not taking care of yourself, how are you gonna really be able to take care of other people? So respecting yourself starts with caring for yourself. So what did you do today that was respecting yourself, your body, not lighting up a cigarette, not taking a drink, not gorging yourself on food, not staying up until two, three in the morning binging on Netflix. Those are not ways that you're gonna respect yourself. Respecting yourself is by reading a book for 15 minutes in the morning and reading a book at 15 minutes at night, doing a 15 minute workout in the morning and doing a 15 minute workout at night. The second question is, do I inspire myself and how can I do that today? There are lots of ways that you can inspire yourself. You can inspire yourself by reflecting. A lot of people don't take enough time to reflect on what they've done in their life, the wins that they've had. And this is an area where people feel unfulfilled. They just do all this work for other people and they pour themselves out constantly, even from an empty cup or from a very half empty cup, but they don't reflect back and look at those situations and those circumstances and their growth and go, wow, you know, 15 years ago, I was just a homeless kid or a kid in jail on the streets or a whatever, a, a brand new graphic designer. And here I am 15 years later, having won multiple awards, making over a million dollars a year in my agency, getting in the best shape of my life, making YouTube videos and empowering people all across the world. That's inspiring to me. My third question is, do I scare myself a little bit? And what can I do to let a little savage out? You gotta do that every single day, 365 days a year. I don't care if it's the holidays, Thanksgiving, whatever it is. Every single day of the year, you need to do something that scares you a little bit because being scared is gonna push you outside of your comfort zone. And when you push yourself outside of your comfort zone, whether it's in working out, asking out that hot guy or hot girl, or taking an ice bath or joining a gym, doing whatever it is that you do, getting on my dirt bike and learning how to do some wheelies or getting onto a track, you gotta scare yourself a little bit. You gotta push yourself outside of your comfort zone because that's where growth happens and that's when your confidence is going to build and get stronger than it's ever been before. 
So do me a favor. If this has been helpful for you so far, drop a like on this video because it actually really impacts me and helps me a lot. Especially since I do these for free and I don't ask anything from you guys in the return other than to give the thumbs up on this video and maybe hit the subscribe so you can get more content like this. That would mean a lot to me. As I've gotten further and further along in my career, I've gained more and more skills and I've taken the time to sharpen my ax. And as my ax has gotten sharper and I've been able to cut down trees with one swing, my confidence has grown. And now I've been getting on stages, I've been practicing, I've been putting in the reps, I've been sharpening my ax, I've been doing courses, right? Maybe you need to do a course. Maybe that will scare you and inspire you and make you respect yourself a little bit more. Maybe it's joining a program. If that's the case, you can check out the Instagraphics Pro Network on Facebook. There's a link down in the description. We can help you with that. But this is something you need to really take seriously as your confidence grows and as my confidence grows, I want to be in the same ring, the same stages, and the same rooms as people like Chris Doe, Tom Bilyeu, Alex Ramoses, all these people. I am just as skilled, just as talented as all these people, but I haven't had the same level of confidence. And as I've gone through this tr struggle over the last six, seven months of my life, one of the things that the Lord spoke to me very clearly is he wanted me to transform my internal strength that I have and actually outwardly express that in my physical form. I'm not about vanity, I'm not about ego. I am a graphic designer, so I'm a little bit about image, but he wanted me to transform the strength and the power that I have inside and show that externally. And I haven't done that for a very long time. So now I'm working out, I'm doing ice baths, I'm pushing myself way beyond my comfort zone. I'm getting on my motorcycle, I'm doing things that really get my heart rate up to really push me and to get me into a shape and to a condition where I feel and act and walk and present myself as the Titan that I really am. And so I wanna ask you, are you a Titan? If you're a Titan, comment down below, I am a Titan in all caps, and I'll comment back. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boisel, and until the next one, keep looking up.